All right. I feel so ecstatic, happy, and excited. Let's read the book right now. Oh my goodness. This is from Disney book, Winnie the Pooh. Who among you knows Winnie the Pooh? Raise your feet. Uh, no, no, no. Raise your hand. Ah! Yay! Okay, I feel so excited. Let's go! Hey kiddos, hear about Disney Winnie the Pooh. How does your garden grow? It will be our discussion today and we're going to be reading this text together. Wow, look at that. They are planting. Mm. There's a buzz in the air, said Pooh happily. And buzzing means honey. So he followed the sound, hoping it would lead to a high. Instead, it led to Rabbit's garden, where everyone was admiring his vegetables. Rabbit asked Piglet, How does your garden grow? Rabbit answered with a little song. What a fantastic song, said Tiger excitedly. But what does it mean? It means my hard work was finally paid off, said Rabbit proudly. Come inside and have some homemade vegetable soup. Watching the bees through the window, Boo got an idea. If I planted a lot of flower garden, perhaps the bees might visit me. And where there are bees, there is honey. I suppose, said Rabbit. But growing a garden is a lot of work, and it takes patience. That's okay, Rabbit, said Boo. It'll be easier in my pluff and stuff than climbing trees for honey. Have it your way, said Rabbit, smiling. Good luck. I can almost hear the bees buzzing, said Pooh, as he scattered seeds around his house. He waited and watched all afternoon, but no flowers grew. Boo knew there were lovely flowers growing in his thinking spot, and he decided to visit them to see if he could figure it out how they grow. The next day, everyone came by to see how Pooh's garden was coming along. I'm afraid I don't have a green thumb, said Pooh sadly. Just a sticky ball. Well, Pooh, there is a science to gardening, said Rabbit. Let me show you how it's done. And Rabbit began to explain how does it goes. Hmm. Rabbit explained the first thing needed was a sunny spot. How about here? asked Pooh, standing by his kitchen window. Oh, stupendous, said Tiger. Rabbit asked Roe. Why do plants need sun? Excellent question, said Rabbit. The sun gives plants energy which they need to grow. Secondly, you need to dig holes like this, said Rabbit. Everyone pull this hoe across the ground and scoop out some soil. Now, drop in the seed and cover it with the soil you scooped out. Can we plant some seeds in my sandy peat? Asked Ro hopefully. I'm afraid they wouldn't grow well there, Ro, said Rabbit. You see, dark soil like this has a food that the seeds absorb and that helps them to grow. Just like I need carrots and Pooh needs honey. At that, Pooh sighed happily. The bees should be buzzing for soon, he said. Now, everyone, pat the soil down firmly, Rabbit instructed. Tiger bounced on his, how's this, long ears, he shouted. 
about Jill Tiger said rabbit quickly. He explained that a plant's roots reach out through the soil, taking in food while holding the plant in one spot. Like those root and toot and roots on Pooh's house, observed Tiger. Exactly, said Rabbit. Do you know what else roots do? They all shook their heads. When it rains, they drink in the water, Rabbit explained. Rabbit, said Piglet, a little shyly. I believe that's because plants get thirsty. Tremendous observation, Piglet, said Rabbit. Every living thing needs water to survive. That's the third step. I'll get some water, Ro volunteered and bounced to the stream nearby. When he returned, Rabbit told him to water the ground until it was damp, but not too wet. I suspect flowers get as thirsty as thistles, said Eeyore, having discovered that after a few good rain showers, his thistle bushes were bigger and tastier. Where are the scientifers now, sticklers? asked Tiger, looking around. Yes, added Ro. We've found a sunny spot, dug holes in water, but nothing's happening. Pooh suddenly looked worried. Mother, I suspect the bees won't be buzzing by today. What gives, long ears? asked Tiger. Now you have to wait and wait some more, said Rabbit. Waiting's what tigers do best, Tiger interrupted. Then he thought a minute. Actually, waiting is one thing tigers can't do at all. Well, there are some things you can do while you wait, said Rabbit. Like what? As Pooh, the fourth step helping nature along, like I do, answered Rabbit. Let's go back to my garden, and I'll show you what I mean. Everyone followed Rabbit home. When they got to his garden, he asked if anything looked out of place. All I can see are weeds, said Eeyore. Not that I expected to find anything good. When you find weeds in your garden, said Rabbit, you pull them out so your vegetables and flowers have plenty of room to grow. You must also keep the ground down, Rabbit continued, and humming a cheerful tune helps. After all, everything grows better. When someone cares about it, most of all, be patient. If you do all those things, you should see sprouts or baby plants in a few days. As they waited and wondered what was happening underground, Pooh sang cheerful tune to pass the time. Sunlight, raindrops on every row, help to make your garden grow. We debate and bum a tune, 
honeybees will bust by soon. A few days later, the most wondrous thing happened. A single pansy poked its head through the ground. It looked like it was smiling up at Pooh, which tickled his heart. Over the next few days, Pooh hemmed some more and weeded and watered, just as Rabbit had advised. Soon after, more sprouts blossomed. First one, then ten, then the whole garden. Well done, everyone, said Rabbit excitedly. You did it! With your help, Rabbit, said Pooh. Thank you. The feeling of having grown something made everyone so happy. They planted flowers all over the hundred acre wood. But the best part for Pooh was all the bees that came to visit. And where there are bees, there would be honey! Yay! Pooh asked Rabbit. Do you remember how your garden grow? Oh, let's see, Pooh answered. My garden started with soil and seeds. Then I added water and sunlight. Oh, and lots of care too. Let's see. And how does your garden grow? Pooh learns how to plant a garden. How about you? What can you do? Thank you guys! A big hug from Kitty! Bye-bye!